question for you guys. Do you prefer daytime or nighttime? Because in this next video, the question is related to the Grass Owl, Rowlet, and one of the starter Pokemon of Sun and Moon and Legends, Arceus. Let's get building. Hi right, guys, welcome back to another Nanoblock unboxing build, and this time we are doing Rowlet, the grass starter Pokemon in Legends, Arceus, and Pokemon Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. And I did not go with this Pokemon in my Legends uh, Arceus playthrough. The starter Pokemon that I went with was Cyndaquil, but uh, this one I have caught in Legends Arceus post main game, and boy, has this been uh, quite an interesting uh, Pokemon for me to uh, try and collect on the Pokedex and fill out all the um, entries, but it has been a catch worthwhile. And if you do want to check out my Legends Arceus playthrough guys, the link is in that card right over there. So please do uh, give it a click when you have an opportunity to do so after the video. But for now, we are going to be building this um, Owl, which I believe is a daylight based owl. And I think from the bag that we've got, there's at least three little bags inside. So, yes, there are. So, I'm going to get started on sorting out all the pieces, guys, and I will show you in just a second what I have to work with. Before I begin guys, I just want to point out that I am also active on the community tab here on the YouTube channel. I do all sorts of things, from posting pictures to my latest projects, as well as polls which will affect the Twitch and YouTube channel. So please do spend a couple of minutes checking out all my community posts, and of course, enjoy the video. Okay, so we've got a nice myriad of colours here for the model. We've got lots of light browns, as you can probably tell. Uh, sorry for the uh, camera lag guys, I do not know what's going on, uh, but I'll carry on nonetheless. I've also got some greens, some whites, orange and blacks right here. Uh, so let me explain the colors that I've, uh, that I've got, uh, the bricks that I've got for the colors. I've got some light brown L's and some 2x3's right here. And then I've got some 1x4's, 1x2's. 1x3s and 1x1s right here. So that's it for the light browns. For the greens, because that it does have a bit of green to it, uh, and that is for uh, Rowlet's uh, back, and of course the uh, bow tie thing around his chest. We've got some line, uh, 1x2s greens here, and some 1x1s. Then for the whites, for the uh, lower body and the, um, uh, uh, the eyes, we've got some L's, some 1x2s, a few 2x2s, and a lot of 2x3s. Then for the blacks, we've only got some 1x1s, which will be for the eyes of Rowlet. Then we've got some orange 1x3s and L's right here. So that is it for the pieces that we'll need for the build. I'm going to get started on uh, step 1 of the build, but it's a very unique step. So. It does require two sub-assemblies, and I'm going to do the first sub-assembly, which will be the bottom part of Rowlet's body, and then do the uh, top part of Rowlet's body. But first, I need to show you guys what pieces you're going to need for step one of the build. Okay, so we've now got the pieces that we'll need for step one. I'm about to begin the sub-assembly for the step in a moment. Uh, well, the sub-assemblies. We are going to do the bottom one first, and then do the top one first. So first of all, pieces wise, we have got two 2x3s here in light brown, two 1x3s, and two 1x1s. Then in the whites we have four 1x2s, eight L's, and six 2x3s. So those are the uh, pieces we'll need for part one of the build. I'm now going to get started on the first layer of the bottom sub-assembly for Rowlet. I'll show you guys in a minute what it looks like. 
The first part of the bottom sub-assembly for step one is over and done with. Uh, I began my build process with the white 2x3s right here, where it kind of forms a 4x3 altogether. Then a white 1x2 here, and again here, kind of like a mirror build for the model, which is uh, what, we, what you can use if you want to. And we've also got a brown, a light brown 1x1 one one right here at the front, so that it uh, starts off uh, with uh, more, a bit of uh, Rowlet's um, feathery body. So with that over and done with, it is an easy process, but I'm thinking that uh, later on it could be a little uh, unstable. So hopefully after the second part of this bottom sub-assembly is completed, it should be nice and steady. I'm going to find out in just a moment. The bottom sub-assembly is now completed and it is a little bit wobbly, but hopefully with the top sub-assembly it might be a little more stable. So let me explain what I did first in the bottom sub-assembly to finish it off. I began with the light brown 2x3 where this peg is directly over the 1x1 from the uh, uh, lower layer. Then I p put a light brown 1x3 right behind it so that it um, kind of um, out, um, helps with the stabilize, uh, connects the uh, 2x3s from earlier uh, and makes it a little more easier. Then on both the left and the right I grabbed four white L's, two on the left where the gap is facing southeast and two on the right where the gap is facing southwest. So that is it for the lower sub-assembly of step one. I'm now going to get to work on the upper sub-assembly for step one and hopefully later on it will be yeah, stable. Okay, so the upper sub-assembly is completed and it was really easy. It's basically the same as the lower sub-assembly, um, but this time for the upper sub-assembly, the light brown 1x1 one one is supposed to be at the back, not the front. And then for uh, the same again with the light brown and the L, uh, the L pieces, the gaps are facing northeast on the left and northwest on the right. And then the there is two white two by threes, one here and one here. So that is it's, it is basically a copy of the lower sub assembly, but it is um, kind of a, an exact opposite, if that makes any sense. So next up, I'm going to grab this and then place it on top, like so. And it should look like this. So we've done uh, the lower body for Rowlet. So it's not, it's um, kind of the same, but uh, in a sense where you can actually, uh, the bottom should look like um, two eights or an infinity uh, loop with the browns at the end and then the same again actually the uh, top browns are supposed to be like dumbbells the uh, dumbbells looking down uh, looking down on them uh, like so so that's what step one should look like and now I'm gonna get to work on step two where hopefully there will be no instabilities whatsoever because I think I might have felt some in one or two of the pieces. So I'm going to get to work on gathering the pieces that I'll need for part uh, step two of the build. Okay, so we've now got the pieces that we'll need for step two of the build, and it looks really easy. It's a light brown 2x3 here, two 1x2s, and eight 1x3s, and two white 1x2s. And from looking at the instructions that I've got here, it looks like we're gonna be working on the um, outer ri uh, body uh, of Rowlet uh, from the uh, size on the back. So I'm now gonna to get to work on putting the pieces onto the model and show you the end result in just a second. Okay, so after step two, it is still a bit wobbly. Uh, but I will still explain uh, how I built this uh, uh, step. So I began with the two by three light browns, one here and one here so that they're over the white two by three from uh, the first step. Then I grabbed two more and placed one here 
and one here, kind of like a mirror builder in this part of the uh, step. Then I grabbed a one by two on each side, where it is under the bottom and uh, the middle and the bot. Uh, sorry, linked together to the middle and the bottom pegs of the one by threes from uh, this section right here. Then I grabbed another one by three and placed it underneath the one by twos. Then another one by three again, where it's uh, linked together with the bottom and the middle pegs of the one by three from earlier. And then two white one by twos, one here and one here. And then right here, as you can see, we have a brown two by three so that it helps connect everything together, but it is still a little unstable. So hopefully in step three of the build, once I show you the uh, pieces that I'll need, uh, and of course do the final assembly, I should have everything stuck together, no problems at all. Okay, so I have all the pieces that I'll need for step three, but there is some things that uh, I should show you um, once I've shown all the pieces. So we've got some green one by twos here, and uh, sorry, one by ones. We have two of these, and nine one by twos right here, followed by two light brown two by threes, four L's, two one by twos, and two white two by twos. So that is it for the pieces that we'll need. What I have to do, first and foremost, is grab the 1x1s and the 1x2 and place one on top of the of uh, the 1x1s on top of the 1x2, so it looks like this. Then do the same again, because we need at least two of these. There we go, so that we're ready for uh, later on, uh, where I can show you um, the bow tie for Rowlet. Okay, so the little sub-assembly for step 3 is completed. Uh, what I had to do was, with the 1x2s that were already built uh, just a second ago, I placed another 1x2 uh, on top of each one, so that it uh, aims for one going upward uh, to the left and the other to the right. And then I placed them on two white 2x2s, one here and then one here. And then I link them both together with another green 1x2, so that it does give the illusion that, that Rallet has a bow tie as such. Then I just need to place this on top. Um, which I believe... Right here. Yes. So this is where it should be. And might still be a little bit wobbly, but hopefully in later steps that will be resolved. But for now, I just need to focus on building the rest of step 3. So we're now done with the final assembly of step 3. And it has been um, an easy build, but there was one thing that I forgot to mention. Uh, we needed four light brown 1x2s, not two. So my mistake for that little error, guys. I have rectified it. So, uh, first of all, I began with the L's on both ends of the model, where they are, the gaps are facing southwest on this side and southeast on this side, and of course, the odd peg is um, uh, facing, well, linked to the uh, green in a bow that we did early on. Then I did two, a 1x2 right over the... Um, L's, where it's hanging on the side in the landscape pat, uh, fashion. Then two light brown 2x3s here and again here. Then two more L's where the gap is facing northwest and northeast. Then I started off with the uh, back cowl uh, of uh, Rowlet, where it's uh, a gr um, from left to right a green 1x2, light brown 1x2, and then green 1x2, and the same again on the right hand side. So it should be something of a, um, uh, well, a 1x2, 1x2, 2x2, 1x2, 1x2. Uh, that's what it should look like at the end of step 3. And it doesn't feel as um, insecure as step 2, so I am glad about that. So hopefully on step three, I can make it a little more stable and, uh, sorry, in step four, we can continue to uh, build up more of Rowlet's body and then get to work on its eyes. 
and I just need to gather all the pieces that I need for it. For the fourth step of the Violet build, we have three 1x4s right here, four, no sorry, six 1x3s, six L's, and five 1x2s. Then I've got two whites 1x2s here, and two 2x2s two all together. So that's what we'll need for the fourth step. I'm now going to get to work on the assembly. So we are now done with step four of the build, and it has made some, uh, well, basically there are these instabilities have now stabilized. So uh, I began with, um, on this layer right here, with two one by threes uh, over the the uh, odd pattern uh, here at the back for the green, brown, green, green, brown, green. Uh, then on both sides, I applied a L right here, and again here, where the gap on this one is facing southeast, and this one is facing southwest. Then on the back, right here, uh, on the sides is one by uh, one by two, then the one by three, and right next to it is. On both sides is two more L's, where this one, the gap is facing northwest, and this one is facing northeast. And then I applied two more 1x3's, one here, and then again one here, so that it helps with the stability of the model. Then here on the top, I began at the back once more, with a L right here, where the gap is facing uh, northeast, and then a 1x4 to uh, help connect everything together. Then I grabbed another L where the gap is facing northwest. Then two more 1x2s, one here and then one here. Followed by a 1x4 all on both sides to connect everything so that Rowlet has his uh, little wings ready. Then we've got a 1x2 white here and again here so to start forming the uh, base of uh, Rowlet's eyes. Then a 2x2 here and again here followed by a 1x2 to link the bottom layer together. So that's what it should look like uh, after step 4. I'm now going to gather all the pieces I'll need for step 5, so it shouldn't take me that long. Okay, so step 5's pieces are now gathered together. I have a orange L right here, then 6 light brown 1x4s, followed by 4 L's two 1x2s, uh, sorry, 1x1s, and five 1x2s. Almost got those mixed up there, sorry guys. Then I've also got nine white 1x2s, followed by four black 1x1s for the eyes of Rowlet. And we are getting close towards um, finishing off Rowlet's body. And whilst I take care of the main assembly guys, I have a friendly little message for everybody to watch. Do you like what you see on the screen? The link to the video will be down in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. But for now, we're going back to the build. And don't forget guys, I'm doing Mad May all throughout Twitch on, on uh, May throughout June until the end of the week of Summer of Games. And if you want me to do a reaction video to the announcements of Summer of Games, let me know down in the comments below or or whatever videos uh, you might think would, I would be keeping an eye on. It really doesn't matter, please do let me know. Your input on this would be greatly appreciated. So with that out of the way, let me just finish off the Nanobot build. So I began this step with a 1x4 right here at the back, followed by a 1x2. Then I did this a 2, uh, this is on both sides of the model, a L here and here with this gap is facing southeast and this one is facing southwest so inwards to the inside of the model then I applied a 1x4 on both sides right here and here let me just there we go structurally secure now then right here behind this white brick is a brown light brown 1x2 and the same again right here then it is a white 1x2 one and on both sides. Then it is a black 1x1 one one here and here. 
and then another white one by one right here as you can see it is uh, facing the inside of the model and on the back here it is another white one by two where it is on this on the um, right side of this of the uh, left eye of uh, sorry right eye of Rowlet then the orange L right here so that it forms the beak for Rowlet so his mouth is done but then on top I began from the front and then worked my way back I started off with a white 1x2 over the orange L that we started off with, then another white 1x2 here and here, followed by some a black 1x1s here and here to carry on with the eyes of Rowlet. Then behind each one of those black 1x1s is a white 1x2 where the odd peg is face is um, away from the inside of the model so that it carries on with the um, uh, round, uh, round big eyes of a uh, rowlet look and then behind each one is a brown one by one one here and then one here followed by a one by four here and here with a one by two here and here and then some L's one here for the gap is facing northwest and the gap is facing northeast and then a one by four right here at the back to finish it all off so we are nearly done with the top of Rowlet. Uh, we need to um, give it uh, some more uh, structural uh, basing. So hopefully in step six with the pieces I'll show you, we will have just that. So we've got a lot of pieces in step six. Uh, let's start off with the browns, the light browns. We have six two by threes and three one by fours. Then I have two 1x3s, four 1x1s, and four L's. Those are the brown, uh, the uh, for the feathers of Rowlet. Then we've got two black 1x1s, uh, four white 2x3s, two white 1x2s, and then two white L's. And that is what we'll need for step six. So hopefully we will be nearly done with the main top, uh, the main body. Of Rowlet. Step 6 is now completed and it is coming along together nicely. So I began with the black 1x1s, one, one here and one here, so that it forms the pupils for Rowlet. Then I grabbed two white L's, one, the one on the left here, the gap is facing southwest, and the one on the right is facing southeast. And then behind those uh, four p uh, bricks is two white two by threes, one's here, and then the other one is right here. So the middle of the white two by threes should be behind the black one by one so that you have a good idea on where the location should be in case you do it yourself. Then on the sides I've got a brown one by one, one here, and then one here, followed by a one by four in the back here, uh, and of course here. Then I grabbed a 1x3 behind each one where it is the middle and the bottom peg of the 1x3s are co aligned with the top half of the 1x4s. Then on the back I've grabbed two brown 2x3s so that it should help out with the top layer. I'll begin with that, uh, I'll now move on to that one, sorry. So I began with the white 1x2s, one, one here and one here. So that uh, one peg is over the black tower one by threes, uh, one by ones, and the other one is over the white. Then, for uh, I've got some round one, uh, L's, and I grabbed, uh, and then I placed each one where their gaps are filled up by the white one by twos that we did at the beginning of this layer. Then I grabbed two white one, two by threes, one here, and one here. Then I grabbed a brown 1x4 so that it is uh, linked right back, uh, right behind the brown nails that we he did at the front. Then I grabbed a, another brown 1x1 one one here, and again here, followed by a 2x3 here and here. Now the majority of the 2x3 should be on top of the white 2x3 that we placed earlier. And the uh, odd two pegs should be right behind the one by one 
here at the front. Next up, I grabbed two L's. Uh, this one, the gap is facing northwest, and this one is facing northeast. And then by, uh, right next, uh, between each one of them, here at the back, is two brown 2 by 3s So one's here, and one is here. So that is it for step 6. We are nearly done with the top of Violet's head. I'm going to grab all the pieces that we'll need for step 7 of the build. For step 7 of the build, to finish off Rowlet's head and his eyes, we have got two white 1x2s and two light brown 1x2s, followed by seven light brown 2x3s, two 1x4s, and three 1x3s. And that is what we'll need to finish off the head. I'm now going to get started to put everything together. Okay, so the top of Rowlet's head is complete, which means step 7 is over and done with. So I began this step with the white 1x2s, uh, which is hovering at the back right here where Rowlet's eyes are. Th then I also placed a brown 2x3, a light brown 2x3, right in between the middle of the white 1x2s. And then I place two more right behind them, so that it helps out uh, with the um, structural integrity of the model. Then I went to the back and placed two more 2x3s, one here, and then one here. Then on the sides, I placed some 1x3s, one, one is here, and the same again is here. Then I placed the two brown 1x2s, one here, and one here to uh, help, well, to get ready for the final assembly of the top of Rowlet's head, which is the 1x4 right here at the front, then two 2x3s, one, uh, one here, and then one here, and then another 1x4, making sure that it's all connected, followed by a 1x3 here, and again right here. So that is it, Rowlet. This is what it should look, uh, it should look like. Coming on together nicely, we still have a, a few more jobs to do, including his feet and the back robe, uh, leafy robe that he has. So with step eight, we're going to get to work on that. I just need to show you guys what pieces we'll need. For step eight of the build, we are nearly done, mind you guys. We have eight one by two greens and two two by three whites so I will show you what it should look like um, at the end of the step in a couple of seconds I just want to make sure that everything is stable before I put on the final pieces so I'll see you guys in just a second so we are now done with step eight of the build well nearly done I just need to put this on the model for, uh, first but I'm gonna show you what I had to do with the white two by threes and it's really easy uh, having them in a horizontal position we I placed them right uh, underneath the um, the body the two by threes that we began on the first uh, step of the build and of course uh, making sure that they are uh, lined up to equally. Yeah, so that it doesn't uh, disrupt the uh, balance, uh, the um, structure, uh, the um, dis uh, design of the model. So then I grabbed the green one by twos and I put two of them on top of each other, one here and then one here. Then underneath each one of the, uh, both of them together is a green one by two right here, followed by three more one by twos at the top. Where one is in between is between the two by, one by twos that we've done here in the middle, and then one here and one here, so that it's um, kind of looks like well resembles the back of Rowlet, which we which it should look like this now, and that's all good. Then for step nine of the build, it's really easy. We just need two orange L's and two one by threes. So I'm gonna do this on camera because I haven't really done much of this um, throughout the build. So with the one by threes, 
it should be one peg out. And if I can place it there, there we go. And then the orange L in front. Then again, with the orange one by three there. And then the L like so. And there we have it. Rowlet, the Leaf Owl Pokemon, ready to soak up some daylight and then battle in the Alola region. Did you like my little unboxing video? If you did, why not check out my other content right here? I have a nice little video for a nanoblock set from a video game series, or I have a playlist right here for all of my past builds. And if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can help the channel grow. And ring the bell for, to get notified on my latest videos. Happy gaming guys, and I'll see you at the next unboxing build.